So the kids would climb up the stairs and show us their best ski jump off into the crash pad. And of course, they don't realize all the benefits they're getting when they're landing there. They just think it's really fun. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Flaghouse Sensory Channel. I am of course your host Chris and this week I'm here with Lauren Drobniak from the Inspired Treehouse and we're looking at crash pads. Yes. So you love crash pads. Love crash pads. So uh, what is a crash pad? Crash pad is simply a great big padded area for kids to jump and land that's soft and safe. Okay, so why do you use these crash pads for therapy? Okay, so when kids jump into a crash pad their muscles stretch and contract and their joints receive impact. So that's the proprioceptive system again. Mm -hmm. Proprioceptive system involves the muscles in the joints and it gives the body a sense of, oh, here is where I am in space. So when the kids are hitting that crash pad, they're hitting it with those all those muscles and joints and they're getting all of this feedback to their brain about, about their body and it's helping them organize and calm as they're having a grand old time jumping into that crash pad. So not only does it have use, it's also fun it's too. It's super fun, yeah. <laughs> so what are some of your favorite crash pad activities to have fun with these Oh, uh, we do so much with a crash pad. We love to fold kids up in it like a taco. So some great big um, giant deep pressure for them. That's something they love, love all of them. We love to pull them on it like a sled ride. We'll put a group of kids on there. We'll have some kids pull so they get the heavy work as they're dragging the other kids across the floor. And while the, while the kids on the crash pad get the vestibular sense of being pulled and dragged across the floor, that's great. We'll have the kids walk up onto a ramp or maybe climb a set of stairs and jump off into a crash pad. Most recently we did a ski jump. So the kids would climb up the stairs and show us their best ski jump off into the crash pad. And of course they don't realize all the benefits they're getting when they're landing there. They just think it's really fun. We like to use it in an obstacle course. So we'll embed it in the middle of an obstacle course and have them run across it so it's an unstable surface for them to work on balance as they walk or run across the crash pad. A crash lot pad. of different ideas and yeah. it sounds like for the most part the kids are having so much fun they don't realize they no the idea. work they're doing. Yeah, no idea. Fantastic. So yeah. thank you so much for all these crash pad ideas. We really appreciate it. There is of course a blog post on the Inspired Treehouse and we're going to make sure to put a link for you guys right down in the description. So if you want to get more ideas, Lauren's got even more ideas for you again. Thanks so much for your time again. And hey, if you like videos like this, please make sure you subscribe to the Flaghouse Sensory Channel. We always have new ideas every single week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.